I got this little mono power amplifier with USB uh, player built into it uh, from IC Station. I was trying to think of something to do with it. I think I've come up with the perfect project. Let's check this out and see what I come up with. The package consists of everything you'll need to connect to a speaker and it couldn't be simpler to connect this unit. So we get the amplifier module which in also includes an AC power supply and all of the connecting cables and the remote control to connect it. Now this unit also features a separate uh, full range and tweeter output so you can feed a separate tweeter or a full range speaker or a woofer and a tweeter with the two outputs but it is not stereo it's only a mono output. So this is the JWA5 high by bass power amplifier as they call it and basically this is something that you could build into a speaker box it features left and right audio input you can also um, feed it from your like your phone or anything with the the 3.5 millimeter to RCA adapter you can power it off 12 to 24 volts AC 110 to 240 volts it has built-in USB and a infrared built in and you've got your your I guess it would be volume looks like volume plus and volume minus from the from the uh, USB player and of course skip forward skip backwards play and pause so it's got a volume and bass and treble control on here so you can set the gain on the amplifier so let's uh, connect this thing up here and see how this thing sounds Okay, here's our audio outputs. We'll just plug the speaker plugs into this. Now one thing you're going to notice about this unit right off the bat is it's not a Class D amplifier, which is going to make some people very happy. We'll take a look at the amplifier chip on this unit. So the amplifier I see itself is a PA2009L. This is going to be probably a Class uh, AB, I'm thinking. Power supply is on the board here, so here's our here's our AC power supply, standard switching power supply on here. So our AC side is going to be this side of the board here. To a 22 microfarad, 400 volts is the main filter capacitor. Here's our DC capacitor. This side here, it's a uh, 35 volt, looks like 1,000 microfarad. 35 volts. So this is our DC side of the power supply. This is our AC side. Now because this is line operated you're not going to want to stick your fingers around here when this thing's powered because there is going to be high voltage on this board. So this is something that if you're going to get one of these amplifiers this has to be built in to something that is non-conductive. Okay, You're not building this into a metal box where you can have a short circuit here because you're going to have high voltage on this side of the board everything here and, and there's there's some isolation here but I don't see any uh, physical isolation around on this side of the board here so um, but there is going to be high voltage there's going to be high voltage on on everything on this side low voltage is this side here but as you can see uh, just from the look of this right now I'm not real keen on the design just because you've got mains side right running along here this is the opto isolator this is the hot side so the LED of the opto isolator for your feedback loop is here this is isolated this is mains right this is mains but this other side here is isolated this is cold this is hot that's pretty I'm not I don't know if I like that design I think that there should be some physical barrier between this rail and this one here, right? Because there's not a lot of space there. So I'm not, I'm not real big on that, right? That's only applicable if you're running this off of mains voltage, though. And if you're running this off of a 12 volt input here, you're not going to have any power in this section of the board here. But I'm going to power this thing up with mains 
power to test it so I'll have to remember to keep my fingers away from the uh, the hot side of the board in fact for safety I'm going to just put some tape on here right now before I even power this thing up just so that uh, I don't accidentally get my fingers in here and get a jolt so I'm just gonna put tape over the entire bottom of the board here you can uh, get zapped so let's plug this thing in it's turned off right now so let's plug it in and we'll just energize the unit and the power light comes on first we'll try just plugging in an audio source to it there we go Listen to this. I'm only plugging one input in. I'm hearing sound out of both speakers. Makes me think this is not stereo. This is just this is a mono amplifier. Interesting, isn't that interesting? Let's uh, let's see what the USB does when I plug the USB stick in to this thing. You can control the volume for the internal MP3 player either through the volume control or by pressing and holding the V plus and V minus buttons. Okay, under a little closer inspection, this is a mono amplifier. It is a these two outputs are not to go to a left and right speaker. One is to go to your tweeter and one is to go to the woofer. If we listen, if we connect one only, there's our tweeter. If I connect the other speaker, there's the tweeter side. come with a remote control as well which you can control and you can adjust the volume from the remote as well anyway that's just a quick look at this uh, little amplifier that was sent to me to evaluate draw your own conclusions is this useful to you? It could be. Uh, might be a nice little project. If you have a single speaker, in fact, this is what I'm going to do with this one. I have a single speaker here that was given to me, and I might just put this right inside it. I was given this Samsung, just a single subwoofer. I'm going to hook it up to this thing and see how it sounds. I may just end up putting this unit inside this speaker. There is an idea. I can just uh, cut a hole in the back of this unit here mount this unit inside the speaker, connect it up internally and plug in the power and now I've got a built-in boom box. That's an idea. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. 
Oops. That wasn't supposed to happen. It doesn't have to be pretty. All I have to do is be able to fit the board in here, right? Once it's screwed down in place, it'll look fine. Let's get some chisels and files and finish this up. Okay, I've got my the hole cut in the back big enough for the amplifier. I'm going to um, solder on the speaker wires directly to the back of the speaker. And I'm going to try and do this by putting the iron right in and just soldering the wires directly to the back, back to the speaker. Get some solder onto the speaker terminals like that. And I'm just going to stick the wires in and try and tack them down. This is easier said than done. Trust me on this one. To try and get the wire in place and heat it up and make it stick is going to be a challenge. But I think I'll be able to handle this. So what it is, I just put a hook in the end of the wire so I could hook it around the terminal and then get the iron in there and heat it up. And unfortunately, I can't show you how I'm doing it because where my hands are gonna be here, you're not gonna see anything. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So now you guys can see how I did this. I just got in here, soldered the wires on. I just cut the other wires off so that the terminals on the back are not connected any longer. We're gonna attach the amplifier board here. It's the one with the full range speaker symbol. That's the tweeter, that's the woofer. So I'm going to attach this and I don't need to put I don't need to put tape on the bottom of the board now for this because this is going into a wooden cabinet. I'll slide it in there. Push it all the way in. I'm going to test it first and then we're going to put some screws in here and complete the project. So the little unit is ready for testing. Get our power cord up to it again. It's a little custom speaker. Let's put a couple screws in here and finish this project up. There we go. Project done. Have a little custom speaker box now with a music player built in. Sit that on a shelf, put your favorite tunes in it. It's got a remote control. And you can adjust the volume too, so I can crank the volume up here. And then I can turn it down. There you go. Not a bad little package. Unobtrusive, just plug it in. There's music. So there's a little demo of the JWA5 mono MP3 player amplifier. Perfect for building into old discarded subwoofer boxes that nobody wants anymore, but the speaker still works good. Thanks for watching.